Continental title, or as I like to call it, Intercontinental Hot Potato, the 24-7 rule is still in effect. Somebody, one of you guys pointed out, I think it was in the Facebook group, right? That the Intercontinental Championship was merged when they were combining titles uh, after the WCW experiment uh, with the Hardcore Championship. And apparently somebody mm -hmm. remembered that. And apparently in some effect, the 24-7 rule of the belt being passed around has, has happened. Technically, that's that's not accurate, though. Was it in merge with the European? Not well, no, no, no. What? Basically, uh, Crash Holly was the one who initiated the twenty four seven rule. Also, took it away. So the twenty four seven rule was officially done with before the titles were merged together. Mike, mm. Mike. Are you I'm just seriously going to technicality me away from this. My dream of the hardcore <laughs> championship 24 seven role, which is one of my favorite gimmicks in professional mm -hmm. wrestling made best re famous by one Chuck Taylor who did a 24 seven role Instagram video series on, I don't even know what they that call was it. Cool. That, was that was amazing. It was, it was great. It was great. I'll probably take you a whole half an hour to watch all the videos, probably, because it's Instagram. Yep. Um, 15 seconds at a time. Um, <laughs> but still, it's amazing. And and um, I don't know if you want to say it's giving the Intercontinental title importance again. It's them doing something different, though. But it's, it, well, I mean, it, it's making it important in the fact that everybody wants it, even if they don't want to pin somebody yes. for it. Um, it, it's making it, imp it's making it as some notice. Hey, look, there's the Intercontinental title. <laughs> I, I think. Oh, go ahead. Andrew. Well, I think it's just okay. from a fact that for the past what four years, like the only Intercontinental title story is the champion loses a bunch and then retains on pay per views, except for mm -hmm. sometimes. Yeah, like that's the only story they ever do. Yeah. So this is the breath of fresh air from the fact that it is so different. They well, made. Oh, sorry, Bobby. Go ahead. I was gonna say they made me love our truth again. There's that too. I thought that I was, was something that was that. never gonna happen. He's yeah. been, been in, irrelevant for like the last couple months, and then all of a sudden he's scared of spiders again. And oh, he's over that. Now he's still afraid of heights. It's awesome. <laughs> yes. Yes. I, I've enjoyed oh. Raw immensely with our truth at commentary. I taking the Intercontinental title last night was the greatest of just. Him holding it, and you seeing Luke Harper just come up behind him, and he's like, "He's behind me, isn't he?" <laughs> yeah. Here. <laughs> he just but walks away. And, 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 and that's the part that doesn't really like bring legitimacy to the belt because he, it, it, yes, everyone wants it, but also R Truth is just willing to give it away. <laughs> <laughs> Which is kind of a fun like, joke with it, though, too. I mean, they're, they're having fun. This is fun. It's it, awesome. It is very fun. I mean, and, and I, mean, I am enjoying it. They've done uh, worse things with that belt, let's be honest. Oh, no, they have. <laughs> it's also a heck of a lot better than random guy going, oh, I want to bring legitimacy back to the Intercontinental title for the 18,000th time. Basically, I love that basically this this alleged uh, Intercontinental title match for – well, I guess it's not really alleged. It's happening. No, it's announced. It's, it's happening. Announced. They're just announcing more names. Uh, it basically features everybody that – when they won the Intercontinental title, people were like, that person's going to bring legitimacy to it, and they never did. Well, I, I think like it's that. just everyone they don't want in the Battle Royal. Well, that's true, but I but I like that theory as well. Like, I'm not, I want just, like, Biggie Langston to be in the in the match now randomly because he was another one of those guys that was like, he's going to bring legitimacy to it. Yeah. Where's Curtis Axel? Curtis Axel can be in that thing. Oh, jeez, Axel. Oh, man, him. There's so Remember much... When, I, I, tomorrow, I know you guys talk about raw wrap up, but uh, you know, kind of a sidestep from our general t topic here. Was last night not the best episode of Raw we've watched in several months? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Like, um, like almost everything. top to bottom. There was another episode of Raw that was really good. I think it was the one after the Snowed In show. Okay, right. That we right. Said, the one, the one was Sting and all that stuff. And, yeah, yeah, but there, I think this one was better. I think I because I really besides this thing stuff I don't remember anything. a lot happened and I know they can't keep the momentum but it's very special when we do see this every once in a while right mm -hmm. yeah it was a well put together raw I think uh, for the most part um, I, I I I like that they're doing new things and they're not just doing the same stuff over and over and over and beating it to the ground every week mm -hmm. I like that I, I like that Miz and Miz are doing different things yeah I like that, you that's know. definitely 
thing was great too. Yeah, it was so unexpected too. It yeah, was... yeah. It was, it was John Cena is, again. You got a little bit of that. Is this a John Cena heel turn? You know, I mean, there was a it, lot it going happened. on there. It happened. Like yeah. I feel like it's happened, but it's not like definitive. You know, it's not mm-hmm. like it's not like this is the part where he turns heel. But so like, heel. yeah. Um, he was he was a heel when he started running down at NXT and being like these guys want to come up and take my spot. Right. Like, right. I, right. I, I think I like Stephanie's not wrong. Like she's she's not no. really saying anything too terrible. No, and that's she's a point. Saying that- you're you're over entitled and you think that the WWE will die without you, die without you, just like everyone else who was big in WWE thought. Right. Right, and which is a which is something that they actually like. That's a talking point that's in a lot of documentaries too. Mm-hmm. 